a tour of my candle studio. So, I just have some toothpicks that I grabbed from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to stick this bad boy straight through the center. <laughs> different projects and stuff going on with me um i'm testing this little four ounce tin i gotta take this back because all the pieces wasn't there i gotta order some more fragrance oil so but for this particular video this will be pretty much part two of the part one um that i'm going to upload so um if you guys haven't seen it i recommend go back and watching that one it's the video uploaded right before this one so basically i'm working with two different waxes um problem 600 and igi 6006 so what i am doing testing the fragrance okay for my clean scent line I'm testing three different fragrances this is the extra candle because this is yeah so I'm testing Odor Eliminator, Nag Kampa, and Fresh Island Game, or Island Game Fresh. But I'm testing them in the Pro Blend, and I'm testing them in the IGI 6006, just because I want to see which wax and what combination that I have going on will throw the strongest. Whenever I'm testing a new fragrance, I always put them in both waxes. Whichever wax throws the best with my wick combination, that's the one that's going to win. This is the HTP 7383 and the CD6 and the CD8. So those wicks work with the diameter of my jars perfectly. The milk pool, all of that works great with these jars, with both of these waxes, okay? All of my jars, just depending on which one works best with the, uh, the fragrance oil. Um, are the four main wicks that I use for these jars nothing else so I was saying that this is the other candle that I just made when I made this batch so this is the candle that I already previously had made from maybe about four weeks ago now it's pineapple sage It's in 6006 at 10% and this is my test candle um, this is the pineapple sage and pro blend 600 the reason why I made this candle is because I want to see also which wax is going to work best with my wick combination and with my wax. Um, so that's why I made this candle. As you can see, I mean, the IGI, it smells good, but it's not as strong as I want it to be. And I've already used all four wicks with this and it's just not as strong as i would like it to be especially knowing that pineapple sage is up so, there um i'm going to repeat the process with the igi 6006 once i have tested these and then you know i'll go from there to decide on which which wax i want to work with so so i grabbed my cd7 and these are the ones that i'm going to start with um, I'm not going to put separate wicks in them. CD7, if the CD7 isn't pleasing to me, then I'll grab the CD8. If the CD8 is not pleased with me, then I'll do. I'll move to the HTP73 or the 80. So I'm going to go ahead and get my thing. I'm going to have to show you guys like my a tour of my candle studio. So I just have some toothpicks that I grabbed from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to stick this bad boy straight through the center. You guys, I am so, <laughs> I am so bad with these. I, I bet you it's off. But if it's off, the only thing I do is I just continue to let it burn. And if you know how... When a, a wick is off center, like majority of the the candle is melted on one side that the wick is closer to. But I've tested all four of these different size wicks in these jars, so I know 
that the diameter work with these four. It's just my placement when I'm doing it. So these is as closely centered as I could get them. And then this is my process. This is what I do, you guys. So here go my CD sevens. That one is all centered, I could tell. I could just tell. And you just stick it down in the middle, like that. If the wick needs to be clipped or if the, you know, the tip of the wick is too long, just take it back out and, you know, cut it a little bit more. The same rules apply. Same rules apply as if it was a already made candle getting ready to be so trim that wick because when testing you have to test as if this candle was being sold so this one's a little bit too long so this is it for today um and and that'll be that also you guys you know how the the flame like gets bigger as it go further and further down into the jar the only reason why that is is because it is getting less oxygen you guys so also remember that when you are testing just half size um vessel um if this bothers you it doesn't bother me but if this bothers you then just go ahead and get a four ounce container and test with that but um I look for everything I look for soot I look to see how big the flames is definitely you want to you know see how the hot throw is all of that so just remember the further your candle burn down the higher the flame so as you guys can see this is an hour and a half and it's already at full melt pool with the CD7 so I blew it out because I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, solidify back. And I am going to put a smaller wick in or I'm going to change wicks because right now I'm testing with CD7 and it's already at a full melt pool within what an hour and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put an HTP wick in there and see what that does so i'm checking the rest of my candles and as you can see as you can see it's you know a full melt pool with all of them so i'm going to go ahead and blow all of them out and try the htp 72s but i will say the hot throw on these are amazing so i'm pleased with the hot throw i'm just not pleased with how fast they are burning so i'm going to keep testing like i said i'm gonna let these solidify and this is what all what all of them look like all four candles that i burnt so i'm gonna go ahead and let these solidify back i'm gonna take the wick out and i'm gonna put in an htp 72 and go from there here is the fresh island game and like i said all of them um pretty much is the same as far as milk pool so like i said i'm gonna go ahead and go with the htp 72 and see how you know the milk pool go with that also i wanted to point out do you guys see the wicks there's pretty much little to none mushrooming and that's what i love about the cd7s very very little mushrooming so i'm very pleased with this so i'm gonna go ahead and write my notes um i'm gonna walk back into the rooms where i was burning the burning these at to test the scent as well as far as lingering And this is the um, Fresh Island game. And I'm going to let you guys see the stats.
12% Pro Blend. And I switched out the CD7 for the HTP73 because it burnt way too fast yesterday. And now you guys can see how the HTP73 is doing. And it actually is doing great for three hours. This is where we are with the milk pool. So I'm kind of satisfied because versus yesterday, we were at an hour and a half and the milk pool was, if not deeper than this. So I'm satisfied. I'm going to go ahead and take my notes and check on the other candles. So I am at hour four and I blew it out and it still smells good in my bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead in my office and my office smells great, of course. This is hour four. And see how the edges um, caught up. So that's why I really wasn't worried about that. But the edges caught up. Let me grab my other candle. No mushrooming, you guys. I love it. Let's check on our last one, which is pineapple sage. Have it, you guys. So, yeah, I'm gonna go over my notes and make a decision on what wicks I want to keep. As of today, the HTPs have been doing very good. This is the only one that doesn't have an HTP in it. These three did. This one have a CD7. So I'm going to go ahead and make my decision on as far as comparing the hot throws from today and yesterday. And that'll be that. And then we'll move to 6006. Okay, it is day three, you guys. It's late, but it's early enough for me to still do a fragrance test or a hot throw test. So, um, I switched out the HTP 73s and I am now putting in the HTP 83. Just so I can see um, how the hot throw is with the 83, but I think I am going to go for the 73s. Okay, it is day three, you guys. It's late, but it's early enough for me to still do a fragrance test or a hot throw test. So, um, I switched out the HTP 73s and I am now putting in the HTP 83. Just so I can see um, how the hot throw is with the 83, but I think I am going to go for the 73s. And with this one, which is the Odor Eliminator, um, I am testing the HTP 72. So I'm going to place these in a designated areas and then I'll come back and let you guys know what I choose. Most likely tomorrow, I will start the 6006. Okay, you guys. So, here we are with the HTP 83s. And I blew them out because I'm getting kind of sleepy. But this one, um, 
it's kind of a fast burn and these only been burning for like three hours you guys so i let them burn all the hot those is very very good just like they was with the cd7 and just like they was with the hgp 72s but i think i made my decision and i am going to go ahead and roll with the hgp 72s and i will use the 83s as like a backup just in case i run out of hgp 72s because you guys know getting these supplies ain't kind of right these days and here is the pineapple sage so all of them are well i'm going to stop this portion tomorrow i will start the process for the 6006 to test and see which hot throw um is best the igi 6006 or the pro blend 600 for these fragrances um i will pick back up tomorrow with these okay guys so real quick excuse the mess um we are going to start out with the hgp 73s um i'm going to go ahead and put them in their designated spot and i'll be back in an hour i just wanted to show you guys the startup it's really late today and i'm just now getting started i'm trying to put together finally get around to doing this cricket so um yeah but this is one minute in being lit i'll be back in like 45 minutes to an hour so we are at about three hours and it's off centered as usual <laughs> you guys but it smells amazing and that is the nag campa in 6006 mm -hmm. smells good this is the odor eliminator in 6006 testing the 73s and this one is the Fresh Island Game. It's kind of light. It's lighter in here than it would be with the Pro Blend 600. So, in making my decision, I might use the Fresh Island Game and Pro Blend. And the other two in IGI 6006. But all of them really smelled very strong to me with the Pro Blend um, earlier this week. So definitely going to wrap this up. And I think I mostly will probably just go with the Pro Blend for all three of them with the HTP 73s.